Oh, hello. Welcome into the shop. You can take a seat anywhere you like. Just avoid the corner table to your right. It's a little messy right now. I'm about to get to that. I'll be with you in a moment. Cool. I see you have your menu. Do you need a few more moments to look it over or have any questions for me? No? Okay. Well, let's get you started. Would you like anything to drink? Coffee? All right. Any particular kind or just our house special today? Oh, just black? Okay. No food for now? All right. If you are hungry, do let me know. We can always whip something up afterwards. Your coffee's out. I'll be, what, two minutes before it's ready. I'll leave it to you so you enjoy the peace and quiet, and I'll get your coffee. Here you go. One black coffee for you. And there is some cream and some sugar at the table. Any other condiments you need? All right, I'll leave you to it. And if you need the blinds opened or closed more, the little strings are there to turn. Welcome in. Hello. Please have a seat anywhere. Oh, would you like the corner booth? All right, make your way right over there. Yes, would you like some food now? Oh, our salmon sandwiches have a pesto cream spread over it. It can either be on wheat or a shiabata bread. Yeah. The wheat won't be toasted, but the shiabata can be toasted. The salmon is going to be grilled, so it'll just take a few moments to make that. Just want to know what it was? Yeah, no problem. Cool. I'll leave it to you if you want something. Bye. From Archive of Our Own by Drifting Glass Before Midnight Chapter 1 Discharge Monday, 10.05 p.m. The leather cushions reek of cigarette smoke and desperation. Izuku pulls up the zipper to his sweater, grimacing as cold wind breaks through the rising windshields of the train. He steps onto the locomotive, releases a long, heavy breath, and sinks his hands into his pockets, clutching one stress-relieving ball in his left while holding onto his broken phone in the other. He mothers apologies and smiles too brightly for the kind of evening to strangers, fellow workers, and hard-pressed citizens who thrive off of copious amounts of coffee and whispered half-conscious promises into the bitter winter air once they were out of earshot. Izuku brings himself to smile when he can, especially to the mothers and children he comes across, earning either baffled expressions in return or a sheepish wave or two 